Welcome back to Let's Play Death Spank, Thongs of Virtue, Burning Dog fans. We now pick up right where we left off. What kind of meat do you put, uh, maple syrup on? I'm assuming that's one of the maple leaf on it is. Maybe it's syrup made from Canadians. I don't fucking know. There's a sort of place for that. Greetings, food production executive. There's an orphan. Call me car. Wharton. Welcome to my kitchen arena, Death Spank. You certainly look delicious. Very subtle. What do you mean I look delicious? <laughs> It's just a figure of speech, like, I could eat you up. Or, my, I'd like to roast your giblets and serve you with a side of broccoli. What's a giblet? Think entrails. I usually do. <laughs> Wait a second. Why would you want to cook my entrails? Oh, come on now. Isn't it obvious? People going missing? <laughs> Me talking about people being delicious? To serve man is a cookbook? And having a factory with a hallway that puts condiments on my employees? I don't follow. I cook people! Jalapeno poppers are people! Actually, jalapeno poppers are just fried cheese and artificial flavoring. <sighs> Artificial flavoring, you fiend! In addition to an attractive hat, I see man. you're wearing a thong. Ah! <laughs> You've noticed my thong of cuisine. When I found it, I found my future. I would feed the world and no one would go hungry again. I believe to serve man is a reference to a episode of the Twilight Zone or the Outer Limits or something that is older than I am. So I have not seen it myself, but I understand the gist of it is that aliens come to Earth and they're the most like, happy to serve obesient I don't know how you say that word, uh, people you can find. They're just falling all over themselves to make er life on Earth better for all the humans. And uh, they're also taking ships full of humans back to their home world to show them how they do all their advanced technology except by the end of the book. At the end of the episode, it turns out that this book that they base their entire lives around to serve man is, of course, a cookbook, and they're just taking people back to their world to eat them. They were real, real big on twist endings in uh, The Twilight Zone and The Utter Limits. Just look up Eye of the Beholder. Oh, and a uh, long pig is a term... Uh, for human meat. I think cannibals used it or something. I don't understand. Uh, I don't know where that came from. I just know that. It means human. What is this place? This is my kitchen arena, where the best chefs from around the world do battle. In this cooking arena, I am the reigning undefeated champion! It's also my office. A real economical use of space. Sorry about that, I just need to, uh, set something up. All right. Uh, yeah. So you're the reason everyone's going missing. Didn't I just say that? All no, you implied it. was blah, 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 blah. I cook people, blah, blah, blah. Oh, before I serve you, I'll need to check and see if stupidity is a contaminant. I'm very particular about how words are used, and she said uh, people going missing as part of her lead-up to I cook people, but she never explicitly said that uh, people are going missing because she's cooking people, just as one of the many things that Death Spank should have noticed and didn't. So you wanted to feed people? Not just people. All people. When I put on this thong, everything changed. Everything made sense. No. I found my own special ingredient and can use it to end world hunger. But you are murdering people. Ah, some are fed and some are dead. Either way, they ain't hungry. 
But I need the power of the other thongs to complete my work. What do you know about the other thongs? Well, I know that there are other thong bearers out there. And I know I have to kill them in order to take their thongs for myself. I also know that you possess a thong. I want it, Deathspank. What is a kitchen arena? Look around you, flavorful hero. Two kitchens, two sous chefs, and a panel of three Japanese judges. What? May the best chef win. What do your pet judges do? They simply taste both of our dishes at the end and determine who the winner is. And the loser? Well, the loser must try to survive. Survive what? Me. How do you sell your food? I don't know why that one's relevant. I'm opening a chain of TGIW restaurants. So between that and a clever marketing plan, I'm set. Let me hear one of your marketing slogans. Made by people, with people, for people, who like people. <laughs> no one can accuse you of false advertising. Damn, that was clever. How about another marketing slogan? At TGIW's, we put a little of ourselves into every bite. That's clever. Repulsive, but clever. Okay. One more marketing slogan. TGIW, where the employee of the month determines the flavor of the week. Ah, with a dry, cool wit like that, you could be an action hero. Hmm. Prepare to die, maker of long pig. You think you can defeat me? I think I can defeat Very anyone. Very well, then. The oven mitt has been thrown. Before we fight, we cook. Tell your sous chef which ingredients to add. Then we'll see who will be eating who. Watashi no daikou mutsu wo oshiete age yo. Shinsen na shake wa kodomo no koro kampu ni itta toki kara zutto daikou mutsu de aru. Okay. Koko de kinjirarete iru to wakatte iru ga bacon wa watashi no daikou mutsu no hitotsu de aru. Right. I bet he just gave a massive hint on how to solve this thing. But I have absolutely no idea what he said because I don't speak a word of Japanese. Talk to the robot. Daddy Deathspank! Clingy orphan! I'm proud Wait of you minute. for finding gainful employment. Yeah, or in a cannibalistic death trap. I am full of adopted pride. Keep in mind, adopted pride is about 70% normal pride. Are you... Hmm, so is this the one... Oh, no, 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 no. I thought this was the one that did the I know you are, but what am I thing for like five straight minutes, but, uh... I think the clingy orphan is the one who had a whole bunch of quests, like get me a pony and all that. Or was that the same one? I don't remember. Don't Why go I start? anywhere. I'll be right back. Oh, I should check my health. Okay. Right. Who? What are you making? A little dish I call Go Away. Fair enough. All right, let's do this. Clingy often. Hey, Daddy D. Do not call me that. I'm ready for you to fetch me my ingredients. Get me some. Duh. Salmon. Salmon. And some. Oh, God, that's exactly what it is. That judge was telling me exactly what to make and. Well, for all I know, it was just they took a, a random paragraph of Japanese from a textbook somewhere and had someone read that as a joke. You know, he did say a word that sounded like bacon, so I'm gonna select that one. Bacon! And a little bit of... Um... Uh, butter. Butter! Right away, Daddy Deathspank! 
Oh. Spanky surprise. This dish is a unique creation. I slaved over a hot orphan to make it. <laughs> that is silly. What are you making? A little dish I call Go Away. Oh, God damn it. I understood that word. Huh? Huh. Well, that's weird. That's the U as well. No, you don't. No. Thanks, Death Spank. You're welcome. Oh, and while you're here, I need you to. Let me guess. I have to deliver another package, right? Well, I was going to ask you to refasten my chest plate. But now that you mention it, I do have something that needs delivering. Can you take this to the Thongolith researcher? It's the last one, I promise. Knock him dead, kiddo. Refasten my, uh, oh. Once again, the red haired woman mysteriously arrives to remove the corrupt thong from its wearer. Excellent. Ice Jackhammer Runestone. Equip a melee ice weapon and a jackhammer and use them at the same time when the justice meter is full to trigger a powerful unique attack. Hey, and a liquor license. Sorry about your friend. Actually, no. I've never used a bidet. I like that they have a different font and everything. I wanted to mention a thing before I forgot. Uh, I thought it was neat that when I got the conversation to have her bring up the thongs, it removed one of the options where I bring up the thongs, which was like, uh, I see in addition to that fancy hat, you're also wearing a thong, which struck me as weird because she's not only wearing a dress, she had like those big old timey bloomers on underneath hiding her uh, <clears throat> unmentionables. So that seemed a weird thing to say to a fully clothed person whose underwear you cannot possibly see. So I'm glad uh, she brought it up first. Greetings, fellow colleague. See you later, co-worker. Probably should have told her to uh, update her resume. Ah, it'll be fine. Liquor license allows the bear to sell fermented vegetable products. Grim Tub's name is crossed out and TGI Wharton's is scribbled on top. Maybe I can give it to Tina. Boigas. Oh shit, there's one right here. Oh no, the X means I got that one. I think it means I got that one. I'm going to check. 
Yes, good. Okay. I thought that was a bit weird, even for me. Oh, that's right, it's off here. I have to phase in through the wall. Grimtub, good news! Greetings, Grimtub. I have recovered your stolen liquor license. Oh, thank you, Death Spank. The bar is open. So you think everyone's just busy working at TGIW's? Yep, I reckon. I'm not sure what else it could be. Turns out it was cannibalism. I'd like to buy something. Uh, rum! Nothing settles the nerves. A good shot of cheap rum. That is cheap. The ultimate healing item is strawberry rhubarb pie. Sure. Club soda with lime. That's right. Yes, good. Rum. At long last, I can... Oh, hey, yeah, you're right here. Uh, what was that I was given? Before I do that... Oh, yeah, package. Another package. Still mysterious. Greetings, researcher. I have a package to deliver to you from Sandy Brevator. Oh, fantastic. Please send her my kind regards. I'm about 90% sure that was, uh... the first time anyone said her last name out loud. So you want me to get readings from which Thongolith? I need them from the Thongolith of Generosity. That'll be in the it north. It can be found somewhere on the North Pole. Goodbye, researcher. That's not what I meant to interact with, it was this thing over here. So I'll just, uh... Where am I going? Yes, down here, actually. No, no... No. Oh, yeah, yes, actually. <laughs> I was expecting to go to one after that, one in between those two. <laughs> I guess it does make sense that none of the pirate houses would have a mortgage on them. Pirates not really known for their interest in uh, mainstream banking. Not in the conventional way, anyway. Do you have a different font? Greetings, Mademoiselle Drapeau. No. Mon territoire? I'm still working on it. Have you helped me reclaim my territory? All right, I hereby declare that uh, France was once the ancient advanced civilization who was uh, driven from their status of ruling the world down to a regular old country like everyone else. <laughs> oh, right, at last I get to get rid of this stupid lemon that probably isn't even good anymore. I'll just, uh... Goodbye, lemon. Oh, I got a taco somewhere. Greetings, Captain Taint. Hi, matey. I've got some of your pirate ship sailing stuff. Here's a lemon. Ah, a lemon, eh? No bleeding gums for you, then. Yes. I've got that rum you asked for. Ah, there be quality rum. I be taking this for myself as payment. Yar! Of Looks course. like you be prepared to set sail! Excellent! Swab the decks and ready the cannons! Death Spank's coming on board! Cannons? Need I remind you that your ship to ship combat privileges be suspended? Oh, come on! <laughs> I said I was sorry about that! Don't push your luck, matey! Uh, I feel very strongly that the Faustian will no longer be very good because uh, I had that lemon for four million years, but let's see. Yeah, it's not very good. So dangerous, I don't even have to know how to pronounce it. Damn. Damn, that's a lot more damage. 
the Hammer of Frozen Dooms. Because uh, it's rarely seen 12th degree freezer burn. Yeah, let's get rid of the Skull Crusher. And now let's go to the Falchion. Sorry! Hmm. I just fought a guy in Dungeons and Dragons yesterday who had a skull wand like this. It didn't do him any good either. Wait. Oh, okay. I never noticed that with the ice weapons before. At last! Oh my gods! I've got a pirate ship! The only downside is, I can only get on or off the ship at docks. Still, this is pretty sweet! Travel the ocean and explore new islands, but remember that you can only get on and off your ship at one of the docks in the world. Actually, all right, let's just go this way then. Sure. I couldn't turn it around. Oh yeah, it needs a little bit of room. I kind of didn't think I would have direct control. I'm just gonna say it. There's a cave and an island up there. Let's go look up there. Nice. Why is the orphan drawn in the corner? That was not there before. The orphan, uh, one of those chizards, uh, and a turd. Okay, carrying on. X Island. That sounds like somewhere where treasure is buried. Wait a minute! I actually have a quest like that! That's gotta be the place, that's gotta be the place. Uh. It. I need to find a sh I need a ship to travel to one of the islands and find a generic treasure for this treasureless pirate in Scurvyville. Being a pirate sounds like a lot of work and disappointment, not like in the movies and old adventure games. Well played. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, excuse me. I'll just. Uh... God damn it! This is where I just came from. Fine. Let's take a look. Anyone else find it kind of funny that this is, uh... Oh, why, hello? Oh, god damn it. I have just realized one of the types of super weapons I can get my hands on is a shovel! Shit. Okay, I didn't think that through. I just kind of assumed there'd be a treasure chest just sitting out in the open. I'm starting to say, it's kind of funny how this, uh... The world Death Spank lives in has been revealed to have, like, up to World War II levels of technology and also robots. But, uh, there's still outhouses everywhere. No indoor plumbing. Let's throw that one straight over here. This is silly. This is very silly. Missed. Just gonna stop my timer. Island Greams! Uh, no, I don't need. Don't have that though. I have the quest to get the Jungle Greams or something. High Plains. I don't even know where that is. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's just dumb. I might have a weapon weak enough to do that. Even that falchion might have been a bit much for a fucking chicken. Well. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Death Spank, Thongs of Virtue. When we set out on a quest we took very, very long time ago. A very, very long time ago. And, uh...
map the North Pole for the general. Later.